Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. There is a lot to go over in today's video because EA took things in an unexpected direction yesterday on EAFC 24, especially with the brand new SBC content that we saw, never seen before, Pundit picks SBC player for Anthony Gordon yesterday. We'll talk about what that means and how we're going to see more of those in the future. But also, we had the first party bag SBC. I'll talk about what that means if you don't know what that is yesterday in this game and some big time leaks. There's a lot to talk about in today's video. Of course, market fodder moving up even higher. The only cards people are buying right now is SBC fodder because the rest of the market just keeps dropping. We'll talk about it all in today's video and more. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's go into the content yesterday by first talking about the player SBC that EA didn't put as a part of their little program for what was upcoming this week, guys. This was not on their schedule, but you know, they control this game so they can do what they want. Anthony Gordon, Pundit Picks, is a SBC player that we had yesterday. Brand spanking new, never seen before. Very similar to the Mudrick card. He's four star, three star. The price is okay. It's about 60,000 coins. And why in the world did we get this SBC? It seems so random, right? Well, let's dig into the, the details because EA tweeted this out yesterday. We had a card design that was added to the code and a leak a couple hours before this actually happened from your TV screen to your ultimate team. Basically, what this is is Sky Sports or the zone picking a player once a month it's not a player of the month it's not a player of the match they're gonna have a pundit choose a certain player for whatever reason they basically it sounds like they can have a pundit choose a player for whatever reason they want to once a month it's gonna alternate between Premier League and La Liga and we're gonna get a boosted SBC item available to unlock in game two to three days following the broadcast so it sounds like this is gonna happen on Sky Sports or the zone so it's kind of like another integration or another collaboration between EA and some other of these new companies now we're going with the media so Jamie Carragher as they said picked the first pundit pick which of course was Anthony Gordon insane banter from Jamie Carragher of course for what happened Newcastle Arsenal game with Anthony Gordon and his goal and the VAR all of that so that's why we got this SBC which honestly is a pretty cool collab and it's just more content so sure like okay it does again draw another tie to like IRL football and the actual game of FC24 Ultimate Team. So I have no complaints around that. This card isn't amazing, but they at least gave him a pretty nice boost, and he is usable, and it's only 66,000 coins, which a lot of people don't like, as you can see, 10% upvoted here. But, you know, it's it's there. It's not that bad, and it's, it's cool, right? Again, EA using another partnership sort of thing in this game. You see Amazon Prime, you've seen Nike, Adidas stuff, like... They're definitely going all out because they don't have FIFA this year. They can kind of do what they want with partnerships. So that is pretty interesting and pretty cool. Now, moving on, the bigger packs that we had yesterday were these right here. The 85 plus upgrade and the 84 RTTK upgrade. Specifically, we'll start off with this 85 plus. It's actually, it's okay. I think I like an 85 plus singular than the 84 double. Personally, this seems to have decent pack weight. I opened it those two yesterday. I got an 87 and an 88. I maybe got a little bit lucky. But this is one that I know it takes 83s and 84s, and right now that's all the fodder that we need. But guys, that fodder is available through just milestones of playing the game. Again, centuries of matches, wins, goals. We got some nice fodder packs in here, nice fodder packs inside of the cup that a lot of us are playing. Theme Team Pursuit even as well. So make sure if you need fodder, check those places for a little bit of gameplay grind. You can get a couple of extra fodder cards there through some of the packs. And it is making fodder prices rise, though. 84 rated cards were all the way up and still are all the way up to 5,000 coins. We mentioned it in yesterday's video that these cards could potentially go higher depending on what the content was. And goodness, they absolutely exploded. I, I feel like I don't even need to show you the graph. But yesterday, they went from already inflated to even more inflated. From 4.3k to 5.4 thousand coins on the 84s. The 83s went from about 2,000 coins to almost 3k is where they were at at one point. And 85s are up almost 1,000 coins a card as well. So it's that low tier fodder that is up. And I actually want to share a little bit of a secret with you guys right now. One of the ways that I am invested in the moment, I almost never do this stuff, man. But I am currently invested in a lot of 82s. And you're like, Nate, why in the world are you buying 82s? Because people are buying 82s 
to go and do these SBCs. If you take a look at these SBCs that dropped yesterday, the brand new 85 plus upgrade and the 84 RTTK upgrade, which we'll talk about more in a second. If you look at the completed challenges and the cheapest way to do these SBCs, it's actually with 80 twos because 84s 85s and even 83s have gone up so much 82s are starting to sneak into these solutions it actually is not a bad idea right now guys to trade with 82s it's really really easy it's pretty painless it's probably going to work for the next day or so but what you can do is find an 82 rated card that sells uh which about all of them do you can get them on bid for 700 coins and then list them up at right around a thousand coins and you'll get lazy sales every single hour a couple of them and it just kind of works out that way it's just because people are buying fodder right now in this game it's a, it's a lazy listing trading method but as you can see i've got a bunch of different i got romero i got manum i got a bunch of different 82s they all move they all lazy sell about the same some of them move a little bit more than others non rares are pretty good but if you want a very low risk trading method that should work decent today that is something that you can do and that's something that i'm doing right now it's grindy and i almost never do this stuff but I, we're doing it because, again, like I said, that's like all that people are buying on this game right now. Now, fodder is up for another reason because one of the main points of this video I want to talk about is this RTTK upgrade, 84+. plus Guys, they put live cards in an upgrade pack in freaking November. Like, these cards, half of them haven't even been upgraded yet, and they made it pretty cheap. This is a Gamble SBC. This is the first party bag of the year. If you're like, Nate, what in the world is a party bag? It's basically an SBC that gives you an older promo player or a like a certain mix of promo players will be available from this type of SBC. Like party bags, I think what they originally called it in like FIFA 20 or maybe FIFA 19 when we had the first type of party bag SBC. It's usually just describing a cheap gamble SBC where you can pack an older promo card and have a chance at hitting something good. Like of course in this one, you could pack Holland, you could pack Bruno, you could pack Osim, and you could pack so many different RTTK cards. Now, is the likelihood of that very high? No, because since this is a cheap upgrade gamble pack, pack SBC the pack weight's never that good but it's a fun one and again with the pop the fodder that you can get through objectives right now and of course from doing the upgrade packs 75 plus player picks and all of that it's not that hard to do so we can do it once we're going to be able to do it again on Thursday and again it's cheap it's cool it's a gamble pack but this is the reason why fodder is booming the 82s 83s 84s 85s all in such high demand because of those SBCs. And the 85 plus is going to refresh again today. So there might be opportunities to trade with 83s and 84s and 85s again today. But this it has to be more towards their peak for this week, guys. Now, the one thing I want to talk about with fodder and with these packs in general is there's more of these party bag SBCs in the code. There are, and this is even better than the one that we had yesterday. There was an 84 plus Road to the Knockout. So that's what we got yesterday, right? This other pack that was added to the code was an 84 plus Road to the Knockouts or Trailblazers player pack. Now, I don't really think that this is going to be coming out today on the market. I don't think that we would get another SBC or not on the market, but in an SBC. I don't think we'd go back to back days with this. That'd be crazy. I mean, 84s would probably go extinct. 83s maybe would go extinct as well if you got another one of these packs. This might be something that's next week or maybe on the weekend. Who knows? But that's a really cool party bag type SBC as well. Think about Trailblazers players. You got Sophia Smith. You got Ronaldo. You got Mess or not Mess. You got Sun. You got Rafael Leal. You have so many different players that people would want to try to pack from a pack like that as well. That is a true party bag SBC right there. And there's more that have been added to code in this pack. So there's hype. An 86 plus rare gold player pack was added to the code as well along with that. So we have welcomed the party bag season, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We had the Road to the Knockout SBC yesterday. We're going to have another with Road to the Knockout and Trailblazers here soon in the coming days, right? Don't know exactly when it's going to be. But again... That is something to watch out for and just welcome welcome to the fodder and the coin drain season right now where EA is basically saying, hey, we know Black Friday is coming, so we're going to try to drain your coins as fast as we possibly can in these upcoming weeks so that you really have to open packs during Black Friday. That's what it honestly seems like it is right now on this game. Now, other things I want to tell you guys is how many of you bought informs? If you bought informs, Theoretically, raise your hand on a YouTube video, right? Say, I did, and give yourself a pat on the back, too, because 
They went to 20,000 coins yesterday. I sold some. I accidentally cleared my transfer list. Informs, in my opinion, if you club stock them at 20K, it is a good time to sell them. Doubling in price. I mean, that's just about as much as we can ask for, especially if you've been holding these cards in your club since the first couple of weeks on the game when informs were discard price at 10,000 coins. Every single inform right now on the market is 19 to 20K. It's a really good opportunity to sell. Could they go a little higher than this? Maybe. But man, doubling your coins on a discard inform right now is incredible, incredible profit. So that is a GG. That's something we've been saying kind of here and then every now and again. Stock those discard informs in your club. And it's really starting to pay out. I made 60,000 coins yesterday from having a bunch of those in the club. And hopefully you guys were able to make some coins on that as well. Now, one last thing I'll talk about with fodder for now is I'm actually not even going to be able to go to the store since I've got cards in my own sign. But they, EA, dropped a specific fodder pack yesterday that was, what was it like? A, a pack that contained 25, no, 20. Uh, 83s and 84s, which technically that pack being 50,000 coins at the current value of what SBC fodder is with 84s being like 5,000 coins and 83s being two and a half to 3,000 coins. It's actually worth it to open that pack from the store with coins if you need some untradeable fodder. It's kind of like how they dropped the pack last week for the gold comments, which they also re-released yesterday. So if you're doing a lot of those uh, Centurions upgrade packs and you need gold commons, instead of going to the market and buying those, uh, you could technically just go open the store pack. But it, it, it again is EA being very smart and conditioning us to go to the store to get the fodder that we need. Uh, it's like going to the store and instead of trying to pack the best promo players you can, trying to pack fodder to go and do SBCs. It's crazy, but that is very, very smart from EA Sports. So I just wanted to point that out because that is there if you did see it. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about this pack and how it impacted the market yesterday, not from a fodder sense. The 84 plus RTTK upgrade, because whenever they drop this other one with Trailblazers and Road to the Knockouts, I want to get you guys prepared for what's going to happen. Now, yesterday when the 84 plus RTTK dropped, what you saw was RTTKs took a big hit in price for a short amount of time. This is something that you often see. Think about it when like the hero pack or the icon pack was dropped. Those heroes or icons usually drop a little bit and then they go back up afterwards. There was a ton of panic selling on these road to the knockout cards yesterday when the pack was released. And then after that, they went back up in value. Like Modric, who is 390,000 coins right now. I don't even know if Footbin is going to show it. But Modric went from 390k when the pack was released all the way down to 350. Like this drop doesn't show you how how low he went. He was 360, 356,000 coins. I remember seeing, and he rebounded all the way back up because he's still a live card. A lot of people expect him to get another upgrade. More games today. We'll talk about order the knockouts in a second. But that is a big thing to watch out for. So when this pack drops, watch out for your Trail Blazers potentially from one of these last two teams on more of your middle to high tier cards like Ward Prowse, Kubo, those guys are going to get packed a lot, right? Their prices dip. They don't rebound as much. But cards like Sophia Smith, Andrew Robertson, Marquinhos, Cancelo, those more expensive cards that aren't going to get packed as much that people may see, oh, this pack is out. Or maybe a few people do pack those cards and they start to panic sell. That is a great quick flip trading opportunity is buying those cards in the dip and then selling them as they rebound back up. Just make sure that the price drops that they have are substantial enough for you to be able to make some profit on. There was a couple cards yesterday that didn't have that substantial price movements, so they weren't that good to trade with, but like DePaul was 255, he's back to 290. Luis Diaz went down like 150K, he went back up. Dodo went down, but he didn't rise back up that much, but he's lower rated and more commonly packed from this SBC yesterday. That's one thing I wanted to point out as well onto the market and of course as always the next time we get an sbc like this one whenever that may be fodder is definitely going to rise this is the type of cheap upgrade pack that a lot of people want to do so that's kind of the whole party bag scenario and fodder right now in this game let's look a little bit at other stuff that was dropping on the game yesterday in relation to some leaks guys and yeah we're looking at muhammad salah when it comes to leaks because as of right now it has been leaked and confirmed to nobody's surprise that our player of the month winner for the month of October and getting an SBC very very soon here in November is Salah. This SBC, guys, is going to come out on Friday. 
And I don't know why they put him as a 92, guys. Salah is going to be a 91 rated card. I would be shocked if EA gave him a bigger upgrade than that. It's the exact same situation we just had with Jude Bellingham. He had a 90, or Jude Bellingham had the inform. They went one rating above the inform. The same rating as his Trailblazers. They didn't count a Trailblazer as a performance based upgrade uh so i would expect salah's player of the month to be 91 rated and probably very similar if not almost the exact same stats as this 91 trailblazers card but it will have finesse shot play style plus instead of the technical dribbler that his uh trailblazers has if i had to guess a price for this sbc guys i'm gonna say 900k that's my flat on the dot guess i could give you a range but i'm gonna say 900k for this salah and um that might be a decent sbc to craft like that is a big-time SBC. I know we had the Hyunmin Sun. It's going to be expiring. It's kind of along the same lines, right? Sun was around a mil. This Salah could be around 900k as well. I think based off how they priced the Jude Bellingham SBC, that's where they are priced this card at. But this is coming out on Friday. And also, you thought we were done talking about Player of the Month. Oh, no. Yesterday, League One Player of the Month voting came about. And guess who's in the voting? Kylian Mbappe has the most goals Probably going to get the most fan vote. Three goals, one assist compared to two goals for Golovin and Zaire Emery with one goal, one assist. Mbappe is going to win this vote. I think Mbappe is going to win Player of the Month League 1. The question is going to come down to, does EA give him an SBC? And how in the world are they going to price an Mbappe SBC? Because if you think about it, Mbappe is still one of the cr most crazy expensive cards in this game. 2.8, 2.9 mil for his gold card, 91 rated. If he gets a player of the month, it technically should be a 92 rated, a plus one over his gold card, almost the same as the Trailblazers. That's going to be ridiculous. That would be an absolutely insane SBC that a lot of people, I mean, you have the potential at this stage of the game to do an Mbappe SBC. Like this SBC is going to be in insanely expensive, guys. If it does drop, I don't know what EA is going to do with this here. There have been times in the past where they get they get messy with it and they disappoint people and they actually don't drop a player of the month SBC for whoever wins the award because the award has to be given out. But the SBC, I don't know if it always has to be given. So I would expect an Mbappe player of the month, but just, you know, that I don't think EA would really enjoy this. And I think that they would make the SBC crazy expensive because think about it, everybody during Black Friday would be able to craft an Mbappe Player of the Month SBC and run around with this card in their team as the most ridiculous meta card in the game as an SBC for months. Like, this is a card, this is a Player of the Month SBC that you could do in the month of November and into December and craft it and literally put your entire club into this. And that would be a card you would be able to use literally till Team of the Season. He would be good enough to use until Team of the Season because the way that this gold Mbappe is still 2.8 million coins on the market and so insane, that is just that is going to be a game-changing SBC. And an SBC that literally everybody wants to get done, even if it seems impossible, because it's going to be so expensive. So, of course, everybody's asking right now, Nate, do I need to buy high-rated fodder because these SBCs are upcoming? I don't know. Like, yes, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. We do need to buy fodder. But the question is when. Fodder has gone up like one to 2,000 coins per card. It's really just barely moved. I think there's going to be another opportunity to invest in fodder, but I think our timetable for investing in this stuff just moved up. I think it did. We were looking at like next week before Black Friday when we'll undoubtedly get a lot of SBCs as well. They'll take these prices higher, but I think our timetable just moved up, guys, because this is insane. Uh, an Mbappe potential SBC next week, right? I don't think that'll be very soon, but a Salah this weekend. Like, we have a new promo coming for Triple Threat as well. I mean, we still have a lot of Icon SBCs that are out that people are going to be crafting for high-rated fodder. It doesn't seem like the demand for this stuff is going to be slowing down anytime soon. So right now, 90s are 52,000 coins, or right around 52,000 coins a piece. I'm not buying this right now because I want to see some sort of a dip, whether it comes today on Wednesday with supply, tomorrow on Thursday, maybe even on Friday at the content drop, depending on how Salad's SBC looks, maybe along those lines, we could have another drop in fodder, and that could be our time to go in. But I'm waiting for a bit of a drop, guys, because that should be probably the best time to get in. And then we're just going to have to wait and it, and hold. And probably after the Salah, I could see 90s going up, maybe 91s, unless Salah is crazy overpriced and EA say, we definitely don't want people doing that SBC. Then um, I, I think this stuff could just slowly start to trickle up because there's more SBCs that require the higher rated squads. And people have to buy a lot of these players 
to do those SBCs. So, yes, we do need to buy high rated fodder, but I think we need to wait. All right. I want to wait for a bit of a drop. You know, we were looking at these at like 45K on Saturday or Sunday or whatever it was. We might be looking to buy 90s at like 48,000 coins. That might be kind of like our buy price. Maybe for 88s, it's like 24K, just a slight drop. 89s, maybe it's 36,000 coins a piece. Just some slight drops on that 88 and above fodder could be a good time to invest and hold it for the next couple of weeks or also just prepare for a big Salah and Mbappe player of the month. Those are going to be market changing and seriously insane SBCs depending on how they look when they get dropped. So that's kind of the league situation that's going on right there. And uh, let's talk a little bit more about the market with Road to the Knockouts because there was a little bit of market movement yesterday. Um, a lot of the market, though, guys, just continues to go down. A couple Team of the Week cards. I show you this Holland right now because I just picked up an Inform Holland for 620k. He was 660 yesterday. He's going out of packs. I was like, you know what? I'm going to risk it a bit there. I have a Lewandowski that I bought after the game. Some of the Road to the Knockouts are down like... Um, of course, PSG losing yesterday, that is not helping the price of Usman Dembele. But on the flip side, Kalulu is going up because with the win yesterday for Milan, it gives people hope that Kalulu and Milan would potentially somehow be able to resurrect themselves from the bottom of the group of death um, and potentially get some points. So Kalulu was like 130k yesterday. He's now up to about 160,000 coins. And he could continue to rise, but I would just say for right now, I'm not investing in these to hold. I would probably wait. I could see Kulu rising up a little bit, but I think I would rather wait until we get to the next set of group stage match games before we look to invest or really trade too much with some of these Road to the Knockouts. Uh, there's not a lot of cards that are down. Weaver is down because of Feyenoord losing. Um, let's see, what else did we have yesterday? Or Road to the Knockouts. Lewandowski is down. Basically, for Lewandowski, the, the upgrade is like still coming because they're gonna get, uh, they're gonna get that that win that they need to clinch the group, to clinch going through to the knockout rounds. But they didn't get that yesterday, losing one nil. So he is down a little bit, but a very rare card. His price will still probably do pretty well. Again, selling in the hype guys is the smartest thing you can do, especially with the way the market is right now. I still don't love holding on to these cards with everything being as down as it is. But, you know, some of these cards like Holland, he's going to get that 94 rated upgrade come this weekend because they did win, which means they're on 12 points, which means there are more upgrades coming for a few more of these cards. We'll get you a full list tomorrow um, after more of the uh, Champions League games happen today. But just, again, be careful with these cards. And with the way the market is right now, again, like everything else is still dropping these cards are like still maintaining their prices, which to me is like, uh, going to be careful with that. So that's what I'm thinking there. And um, also just be careful with other out of pack specials. This is another word of warning. I've mentioned it a little bit too, but just be careful with cards that maybe haven't dropped off that much yet. I mean, I'm kind of thinking about Fede Valverde in form right now because we have a Jude Bellingham player of the month. This is a card that I traded with. He is down like he was 850 pretty consistently before this crash started to really happen. But this is a card that heading into Black Friday still is going to drop a lot more. So just be careful with that side of the market right now. Let's talk a little bit about Wednesday today. What's it going to be like today? We have a team of the week leak. We'll look at this right here. Uh, first off, Terstegen, Upamecano, Grimaldo with a second in form. Uh, Salma Para Luelo from the women's Barca team. Usman Dembele is getting another promo card today. Uh, Jackson's getting a promo card. Might be featured. Watch out for that one. Doku's getting a second in form as well. Team of the week today looks okay. It looks decent. Not too shabby. So definitely watch out for the new team of the card today. They always fluctuate. They're always good to watch out for. And EA might drop some promo packs in the store to try to help that out a little bit, at least help the hype um, with the Wednesday content today. So that's a part of content I'm expecting today. Also would be expecting that Tiago Silva, like Tiago Silva yesterday, there was people tweeting out the Brazilian flag and like kind of teasing that we were going to get a Tiago Silva. And then we ended up getting a Brazilian foundations. Uh, I didn't even mention that there was the women's Bundesliga foundations, the Fraun Bundesliga, uh, not too bad of SBC or objectives. There are some usable cards. If you want to go and look at those foundation objectives, but still watching out for this Thiago Silva, because it really could impact the center back market and make some other Premier League cards rise if priced correctly. And then the other thing to watch out for today is maybe a loading screen or some news. Once again, we got a little bit of news yesterday about the triple threat promo is that it is going to include heroes guys so promo hero items are coming watch and be careful with hero cards right now once there are leaks about specific hero players that are we going to be getting brand new cards 
probably treat it just like you did with the promo icons and the icons that came out during Centurions. You're probably going to see some of the hero cards that do get leaked drop in price because people will sell their base hero because a new one is going to be coming out. That Ginola is a prediction, by the way. That car design, though, is the actual design. So hopefully we learn a little bit more about what the triple threat promo is going to bring us today on Wednesday as well. So watch out for loading screens, new team of the week, maybe the Tiago Silva SBC, refresh of the 85+. plus. It's going to be a great day to probably trade with some more SBC fodder, guys, which is where most of my coins are at the moment. A couple of quick flips. I need to be safer with my coins, right? Just flip the fodder, take the quick flips, the easy flips. And uh, really not buy too much right now because a lot of prices, a lot of people are not buying at these current prices. They just seem to keep falling. So we need to be careful and not lose a lot of coins. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan with Account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.